Hi, it's Dr. Roberto Mickey again, and we've got a great video today on a narwhal mask. This mask was sent to us by a YouTube viewer directly from the manufacturer. He wanted it tested because he's been using it for PPE against COVID, and he wanted to see whether it lived up to all the hype on the website. The mask is an adapted snorkel mask and has two filters in it, one for inhalation and one for exhalation. These are disc type filters that the manufacturer claims has been tested by Nelson Labs and has a 99.99% viral filtration efficiency. The idea of converting a snorkel mask into PPE is not a unique idea. In fact, the first people to come up with this idea were out of Italy because they got hit so hard so early in the pandemic and a company there it got a patent issued for the idea and then released the patent so that anybody in the world could use that patent or that idea to protect other people. So you can see us here taking the mask out of the sealed bag and you can see it has two filters, one on the top and one on the front. The one on the top is for the inhalation and the one on the front is for exhalation and it has an inner mask which prevents the exhaled air which is humid from fogging up the mask and forces all the air out to go out the front filter. A quick plug for the channel, hit like and subscribe and help out our channel so we can continue making these videos. So here we are fitting the mask to our mannequin head that allows us to hook it up to the particle counter and it has these two little clip-on snaps that allow you to adjust the mask to the appropriate tightness and so you get a nice seal on your face. tested the mask with our apparatus and we did it for 30 minutes consecutively at one minute intervals which is approximately 2.8 liters per minute and we got an average of about 4.83 particles per 2.83 liters. Next we tested the ambient air for the number of particles to be able to calculate the percentage of particles that were filtered and we got an average around 2,883 particles per three liters. So by doing some basic math, we came up with a filtration efficiency of 99.83%, which is significantly better than a N95, which is 95% filtration efficiency, but it is does not quite reach the N100 or N99 level of filtration. We have definitely tested other masks with higher filtration efficiencies. But very interestingly, this is one of the few masks that we've tested that actually filters both inhalation and exhalation. Uh, a couple disclaimers about our testing. Number one, we're using a mannequin head and not our own skin uh, to test this mask and the seal. And so we may be getting some leak due to the fact that the seal may not be perfect against a mannequin's face versus a person's normal skin. Number two, we are going to test the filter paper itself uh, in a different set of testing, and so we'll uh, have that published at a later time, but I wanted to get this out there for the viewer who asked us to test the overall apparatus as well.